YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. So today I just want to show you guys some of the pickups I got from TargetCon. So uh, very cool releases for the day. I was able to in store actually grab two and some of the people in the community got me two as well that are coming in. So let's get right to my pickups and see what I got. Here we go. Listen. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome, and hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. Um, so today, apparently, was TargetCon, so despite popular belief, being a YouTuber does not mean you know when releases happen. Um, I had no idea that today was TargetCon, so I woke up to a text from uh, Charles from Wigsfigs, and uh, he said that TargetCon was crazy. And I was like, what are you talking about, TargetCon? So it kind of just triggered into me that today was TargetCon. I got uh, washed up and went right out to Target. And I uh, was able to actually snag two things that I um, I liked. So I didn't even really know what releases were for TargetCon. I had been so busy, I um, forgot. I knew about the Simpsons Auto, uh, but I didn't really remember any of the other stuff that dropped. And I uh, was fortunate enough to get two of the things that I thought were pretty cool. And like I said, two more things are coming in from members of the community. So I will give you guys shout outs as soon as they come in. Um, but just want to show you guys these two pops. First, uh, this is one I had no idea came out. And uh, I was kind of on the fence about it, but I picked it up because I knew that I probably would regret it later down the line if I didn't pick it up. And that is the Skeletor on the Throne. So this is the last one they had. I'm not sure if they got a bunch of them. Um, but you know, you guys know I collect the Masters of the Universe line They're down there somewhere, and uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, the Skeletor on Throne, very very cool. This is definitely one I think's got to be taken out of the box. Fully appreciate. Um, I told one of my friends I wasn't too sure. I was on the fence about it, and um, he said once you take it out of the box, you're gonna fall in love with it. So let's see if that is the case. And uh, like I said, guys, I didn't know anything about this stuff at all so let's see how this looks out of the box okay all right so there you guys go here's a look at the Skeletor on throne so pretty solid looking pop um, definitely for me my personal belief is you're gonna buy a six inch or a 10 inch or 18 inch pop they don't belong in the box they don't look really um, as good in box as uh, the four inch pops do um, well, even them don't look as good in the box, but these, I just think they're closer to statues and needed to be displayed. And this one is uh, pretty, pretty dope, man. Let the pops breathe, take them out of the box. And uh, this one definitely deserves to be a display piece in your collection. Um, would have been nicer if it was a 10 inch pop, just it'd be a little bit more menacing. Uh, I know it's huge throne with Skeletor sitting on it. Um, I can understand why it was only a six inch pop. And honestly, it's only a four inch pop with a six inch throne. So, um, very, very cool pop. And uh, definitely one of the better ones from Target Con. So, overall, when I finally got around to looking at the Target Con pops, um, I thought they were all very, very good. Um, like I said, I think I have the auto and the tails pop coming in the mail soon. Um, again, shout out to the community. Anytime you guys see that I miss out on things, uh, you guys come to the rescue and make sure I get it. So uh, I really do and truly appreciate that. Um, it, I don't ever expect it. I'm just really uh, thrilled when you guys hit me up and say that you guys found one in your store. You got an extra. So that tails pop, the flock tails, a um, couple people hit me up originally about it and I was like, you know what, I don't need tails. I have another tails pop, but I didn't even know it was flocked. So as soon as I saw it was flocked, I had to have that one and thanks so much. Um, you know who you are uh, to hook me up and I'll give you a shout out as soon as I get the pop in the mail. Um, but this other pop is one I didn't know was part of Target Con. I thought it was just a regular common release. And uh, yeah, picked it up. It was the one I was most looking forward to. And uh, again, guys, YouTubers don't always know everything. Um, I've been busy. I didn't even know this was a Target Con release. So really excited to get this one. And we have Lord Licorice from Candyland. So uh, I did want to get the other uh, Candyland pops. I did see Jolly and Mr. Mint in the GameStop in the mall that my Target was at. I did not pick them up only because I think I can still get them 
on hot cash or box lunch money or some other kind of discount i'm cheap i'm i'm really patient when it comes to pops i like to try to get stuff for half off if i can so i'm hoping i don't regret that decision um but now this lord licorice very very dope one um hopefully i can get that uh plumpy one from emerald city comic con in a week or two whenever that is um i don't even know what emerald city comic con is drop down the comment section below if you know uh, but this lord licorice is very very dope uh, that whole set honestly there's not a single weak pop in there even the player piece is an extremely dope looking pop so um i'm calling it right now as of now 2021 this candy land line is the best line funko's done let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you agree or you think another line's been better um but this this line has just been fire they all look dope and they really translate the pops really well so this uh target con exclusive lord licorice is a really cool one to me um, the only other ones they had at the store, they had the Clue guy. I don't even know his name. Um, I never really played Clue growing up. Maybe I played it once or, or twice at max. And so I really wasn't going to pick that up. And the only other one they has that ugly uh, silver Pikachu, which is terrible. The only reason I thought about getting it for a second is I'm trying to get as much of the 25th, 25th anniversary stuff as I can. Uh, I've been grabbing the McDonald's, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Packs, um, these plushes. Anything 25th anniversary uh, Pokemon I've been trying to get, I just think that'd be a really cool collection to have later than the line. Um, so I thought about getting the Funko Pop, but that thing's terrible. So I, I left it behind. They had like three of them left, and I can only imagine they'll still be there. Um, I don't know why they made a Silver Pikachu. Funko, let me know in the comment section below, Funko, why you guys made a Silver Pikachu. I don't think it makes any sense. Um, if you made a gold one, maybe for the tw uh, 25th anniversary, maybe Silver is the 25th anniversary, maybe that's why you did it. Now that I'm thinking out loud. But it's still terrible. So I picked up these two. When other ones come in the mail, I will show you guys. Um, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys got, how you guys felt about the Target Con. I know there is two other pops from Shit's Creek that are coming out. Uh, the Moira and David when they're like making macaroni and cheese. And then the uh, one where she's in that bird movie. I need both of those. So as soon as they come out, I'll show you guys those because I plan on uh, hunting for those the moment they come out because I think those, that bird one might be the best Target Con pop. So. Let me know what you guys thought about Target Con in the comment section below, what you guys thought about these two pops, and uh, let me know your thoughts in general about whatever's on your mind. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. If you also want to check me out on my second channel where I open up Pokemon cards and sports cards, check me out there on Savage Breaks. There is a link in the description to that video or that channel. And uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, check me out there at the Pop Savage. You can stay connected. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later.